Okay, I uh, checked the uh, checked the map. Uh, I did, in fact, uh, forget a item. Uh, we need to go get the life spell. Take too long to get it. Uh, at least, uh, you know, with the enemies not respawning or anything, uh, it should be pretty easy to just uh, track back through and get it, and then, uh, you know, I'll be able to find my way back to the boss pretty easy again. I guess I was talking about the uh, Dragon Quest games uh, before. I probably don't intend to do like a Let's Play or anything with one of them, but uh, you know, after the Dragon Quest monsters there, I did... Uh... Okay, there's nothing in here. Uh... Yeah, I have played... Uh... Uh, the one where you uh, are like an angel or whatever. Uh, the, who was on the DS? Oh, there was. Okay, so I came in from up there. Uh, and go down. Yeah, I played that one on the DS where you're like an angel or whatever. I played it mostly, I think I specifically chose it because you can make a, your own like generic team of characters, which I typically prefer that over uh, like set characters. of one on the uh, 3DS. Uh, it was the one where the world is all like broken up into pieces or whatever and you go to like different dimensions. Uh, I didn't care for it. 
I found the translation was uh, extremely annoying. I was playing the English version. Uh, I accidentally bought the English version. I had intended to get the Japanese version, but uh, I don't know. I think I didn't read the, uh, the Amazon uh, listing well enough or whatever. Uh, I thought it was the Japanese one, but it wasn't. Uh, yeah, they all had you know, every world in that was a uh, you know its own uh, like country or whatever, and they all had like really over the top uh, like stereotypical accents. Like one was like you know a German town, and everybody had like these ridiculous German accents. Mm. You know, there was like a French town, everybody spoke like really weird, uh, you know, big French, and um, I just found that just so horribly distracting. You go into a town and everybody's just got like these horrible, like, cartoon accents. Uh, so yeah, that ended up kind of putting me off of it. I haven't really played any others. I know there was the, uh, the Switch one came out recently. Uh, somewhat recently that, uh, you know, it was supposed to be pretty good, but, uh, just, you know, being a JRPG on the Switch, I'm not gonna, if it is kind of slow-paced or whatever, I'm not gonna be able to fast-forward or anything, so, uh, you know, that kind of puts me off playing it, and, uh, you know, it also, it doesn't have generic characters, you can't just, like, you know, make your own characters or anything, uh, which I, you know, I typically prefer that. Right, yeah, so there's the chest. I really should have gotten in here uh, earlier. I don't know why I missed it. to have the uh, life spell. Right, yeah, so 
this is the, uh, the right way. back and forth, this would be so tedious if there was uh, random encounters. That was so crazy. I seem to remember him being harder before, but uh, I guess uh, what I did there is pretty effective.
Okay, you can still go back in there. Yeah, I don't know why I thought you uh, couldn't go in there after beating it. Got some experience there. Uh, see the uh, petri uh, petrification really kind of messed us up. Now, am I supposed to? Uh, I think I'm supposed to go in the bottom. Yeah, see, this is the, uh, the very last dungeon here. Uh, later, I might go. Uh, you see, I made that as a save file. I might come back here later and just uh, see about just kind of uh, using a cheat or something, get through the wall there, and uh, I don't know, just see what it's like. Just you know, if you just continue on, you know, through uh, the end there, uh, you know, if anything weird happens. So there, we got uh, Arrow, so we got uh, most of those spells now. Here's where uh, Clumsy Reuben goes away. No more Reuben.
Tristan joins us again for, I think this is the last time, uh, it's also not for particularly long, I think he's with us for like five minutes. Uh, I guess he only has life as well. Not a very high level either. He sees the you know, same as what Reuben was. But he'll be gone in, uh, I think as soon as we get out of this area, pretty much. I don't think there's any uh, special items in here, but I might as well check. I think actually what that's indicating is that there is another warp uh, somewhere in the game that warps you into the tree. There's just a little room in it with uh, just some like treasure chests or whatever. Uh, be this here. Pretty cool when I finally reached this place because uh, this is the spot that uh, shows up in like the demo play. Uh, it shows you going through like with the uh, giant sax and uh, Kaylee again, uh, fighting these guys and everything. So I don't know. I was pretty hyped when I finally got back here. The enemies here are pain though, because they uh, mostly resist uh, Tristan's stuff. guys are actually weak against his uh, stars. Uh, he still doesn't one-shot them usually though, so... Yeah. I guess that's uh, inside the tree there. Uh, the one that was up above there that had that symbol on it. I'm curious if they actually, uh, you know, if that symbol is, you know, an actual functioning uh, teleporter. If you were to uh, walk through walls to get up on top of the tree, if it would, uh, you know, actually warp you, you know, crash the game.
the uh, poison is making me sleep ineffective there. Okay. So these guys are. We got the arrow spell there. Flying enemies are super annoying. Giant's axe, uh, like cut to uh, three trees in front of you or something. Yeah, they do. They give different uh, stat boosts as well. Um, see the uh, okay, it's the the sword boosts your speed. Uh, the 
Claw Booster Magic. Yeah, I thought it was the uh, the other uh, the other way around. Then we go to, uh, you know, we teleport back. I, I hope we don't have to walk all the way back and then uh, fight our way back through here again. That's all the trees doing that. Uh, at least the enemies don't reset. talk to him, and I can go inside the tree, uh, eat his dungeon, and then he will uh, walk us to the next town. I think. I don't know. It doesn't seem right, but uh, I'll give it a try anyways. Blue door goes to our area. Yellow door.
don't know, this place just seems pretty cool. Uh, you know, I was a kid when I got here as well, and this place is the best. You know, this like secret underground uh, waterfall place. Awesome shrine music here too. Treasure hunting. BB's blowing the place up. At least I got the claw. Petrification that it does there. Uh, certain enemies get hit. Uh, I think they you know, get one shotted by that. Uh, the funny green tree is gone. Bed, she must not be that well. I'll get the speed boost and then I can hopefully uh, arrow them before they start paralyzing everyone. healing spells. She's actually immune to uh, petrification, which is really nice. And then she's got the same uh, giant's axe.
not as good as Phoebe when we, when we get her back, but still pretty useful. crystal left to get. And, uh, yeah, so there's a couple, uh, there's two or three mini, uh, more, like, you know, sub-places to go before we get the crystal, and then we're on to the, uh, last dungeon.